Welcome everybody. Hello everybody. Welcome to this playthrough for Rookie Division with Various Wind. It's spring break here in Sweden. So the kids are off. And Amelia wanted to make an appearance in the video, obviously. Look at her glasses. She looks super cute, in my opinion. All right. So make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification. For those of you that do want guides for the Southern Pines 9 Hole Cup, which is a full nine of the Southern Pines you with new <laughs> location. <laughs> and the QR code here on the screen. Or use the link patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy in the description down below. Info box on the right hand side <laughs> you can, uh, that you use to follow along in this video with the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also a ball and club type we suggest you to play with. Have in mind that also are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to. But there's always a plan behind it. Let's go to hole number one. Hole number one, I would say to get an eagle here and not just having to settle for a birdie, we need to get over on the right hand side. We need to get over the water basically. So I'm going to use my driver that gives me the most power possible and I'm using a power three ball. You can use a power four or a power five ball to simplify this drive a little bit and also to reach further up but you will see here on the video that you can definitely manage to get over the water with a power three ball however though we do need to go max overpower so i'm using max overpower with as much top spin possible unfortunately i only have 4.5 bars so if you have more than that use as much as you can the maximum distance plus 10 is the adjustment on the drive Second shot, now with the new hole location standing more right, means that we have less fire away until the green starts compared to how it was before. It's, 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 uh, what can I say? It's not, uh, it's not that much big of a difference on how much fire away we have now compared to before, but it's still enough to make us having to use at least around four to five bars of backspin so if you do not have a sniper that i don't i don't have a sniper level that gives me four bars of backspin meaning then i will be playing with my guardian to use the backspin on that club to not have to play too close to the rough line with my first bounce however though if you do have the backspin on your sniper please use that club instead because it gives you a much much better ball guideline and therefore you can attack the pin much better medium distance plus 10 is uh, the reference for the second shot Hole number two, and now they have moved the hole more right, so we can't really take advantage of the slope in the same way that we did before. And this opens up for being, in my opinion, an easier shot because the rough bump is more achievable because it's less glitchy here. However, though, if you're a player that do not really like rough bump and think they are too risky, then this hole has become way harder, in my opinion. I would like to play a rough bump here. I'm going aggressive because this is the way that I would like to display for those of you that are playing this one in the tournament, as I do believe this is the best chance to, uh, to get a drop. Here in headwind, I would like to have the ball guideline through the hole, and the reason for that is that the ball guideline will be compressed due to the slight headwind that we have. If we do have a tailwind, leave the ball guideline slightly short. If we do have a crosswind, ball guideline to hole. 10% elevation. And here I'm using medium distance plus 10. Need a little bit more here in the headwind angle, but medium distance plus 10 will be close will be very close to the correct answer in many other angles instead. You don't have to use a katana if you don't want to. You can play with a navigator, quasar, or any other ball really, because we are not really close to max line. Hole number two, in my opinion, the rough bump offers a better chance than what it was before, but as they have removed the slope, I would say that that have definitely made the, uh, the, the hole harder if you are a player that do not like rough bumps. Hole number three is going to be very similar to what you will also see on hole number nine. Use the driver that gives you the most top spin possible. In my bag, that is the big top of level four. Have in mind though, that even if you do have a big top of level one, use that club. Preferably with a power 5 ball, you don't have to play with a power 5 ball, you can play with a power 3 or a power 4 ball as well. But the power 5 ball is used to display to you that we do need as much 
power and distance possible. I would say like this, if you do not have the big topper at all, use the driver that gives you the most power possible after that. It's most likely gonna be the extra mile or it's gonna be a Thor Sammer or even an Apocalypse if you are unlucky enough not having the big topper at that time. Maximum distance plus 10 and it's going to always be max overpower here from front T because the club levels will not be high enough for us to avoid having to go with max OP. Second shot, now with a power fireball, we can actually attack the pin. With a new hole location here, they have moved the pin more left, which means that we have more room to attack it. Before, before it, stand, it did stand at the middle of the green, and I think this is a big improvement, because uh, before it was just ridiculous, honestly, because it wasn't really possible to attack it without flirting with the bunker too much. I'm using two right spin to, have, to aim as much left possible. And then I'm using a little bit of backspin too. What I would like to say though is that be careful with using too much backspin because the fairway just before the green slopes downhill. Uh, and when you bounce there with backspin, it's very easy to use too much backspin and then you will fall down into the bunker. So even though the Albatross is manageable, I would strongly recommend to try not to push too hard for it because that would be it would be too much danger of being into the bunker in terms of getting the eagle. You can see I'm I'm not I'm not close but not really close at the same time. I'm giving myself a safe eagle and that's kind of my general goal for hole number three. Those of you playing with a higher high level sniper like Sniper 9 or Sniper 10, can gamble and use that club instead and have a little bit better ball guideline and attack the pin a little bit better. 10% elevation for the second shot, true club distance. On hole number four, I would suggest to play with the driver that gives you the most power possible. And here we are playing preferably on the left-hand side. And the reason for that is that playing on the right-hand side will involve more risk than left hand side and it often is going to require a decent knowledge of the game to do the right side drive in a consistent and a positive way to be able to attack the pin on the second shot. Max right side spin and four and a half bar top spin. You can see that I'm bouncing over the left side of the bunker. The goal is to be just short of the shadow, exactly like that. That is exactly what I would like, around 370 to 380 yards. I'm using a katana ball, and the reason for that is not really the drive. The reason is the second shot, because now they have moved the hole to be more left of the green, meaning that it was before in the center of the green, which made the rough bump and any other approach shot to be much more much easier to attack so now i want to have a decent amount of left spin to be able to have my first bounce still clearly away from the bunker because if i would be having less side spin i would have to move more left and therefore i would then put the bunker more in place i'm using more side spin and then i can attack the pin and i can also allow myself to make a mistake hitting a great ball or just adjusting uh, in a wrong way and I will still be safe and I will still get my birdie because this is a tough part four this is not a part four where everyone is going to get an eagle but I would like us in a safe and consistent way get ourselves to attack the pin which we can with this type of shot unfortunately just slightly slightly off there with my um, with my adjustment and making me miss just on the right hand side but a good chance in my opinion on hold number four Hole number five has, in my opinion, become way easier, mainly due to the massive funnel. Look at this funnel here now. I'm having the ball to go past the pin. You can see here that even if I'm using more or less side spin, the ball guideline will not move from the hole. You can see I'm wiggling around as well, which gives us loads of room for error. However, though, the rough bump is obviously risky because if you do make a, a mistake here, you might miss the rough and that may cost you. So let's look at, it, uh, at this one in two ways. If you feel comfortable with your adjustment, always go for the rough bump because that will be miles better than to bounce on the fairway considering that we do want to have a hole in one. However though, if you do not feel comfortable with the rough bump, use the fairway on the right side and all the left spin that you can to bounce the ball up towards the green and, ha and give yourself an outside chance for a hole in one. It will most likely be a birdie every time 
but there is still obviously a chance that you can drop that one from there. I would recommend to use the best ball you have to reduce the wind, uh, wind uh, as much as possible when going for the rough bump. It gives you more room for error as you obviously don't have to adjust as many rings. Max plus 10 with your sniper and playing into that funnel, I, I mean, it's a really good chance now compared to what it was before. Before the pin was more left which meant that it was way hard, way less achievable and there was no funnels there either. Take your game to the next level with our ultimate tournament text guides for the Southern Pines Golf Club 9 Hole Cup. You can find the link in the description down below to Patreon and also we do have the QR code here on the screen. The link is patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. We are providing a qualifying round guide and the final round guide for expert and master division to help you be competitive in this tournament without having to spend loads of time in practice and then loads of balls which essentially is a cost for you as a player but that's not it we do have something for each and every one starting at one dollar and fifty cents per month you can find a package that suits you and what you want to improve with in this game tour play tournament play you name it check it out through the qr code here on the screen or patreon.com slash gold clash tom you get to, our, uh, to the page with all the packages find something for you and then start doing what more than 2000 players has already done this month to improve their game in gold clash On hole number six, I strongly uh, advise you to play with a quarterback here if your intention is to lay up and just go for the eagle. What I would like to say with this is that this hole, if you do have the possibility to play with a higher level quarterback, with the rock, or even with an apocalypse, then you can play something called a power slice. And a power slice is something you're going to have to know something about to be able to do that because otherwise you will smash yourself into the trees easily. So I'm focusing and keeping it simple here and giving us an eagle the safe way because this is uh, probably what um, I would say this is a very difficult par 5 overall. This is a tough one and the eagle is definitely going to be something that not everyone will get. And I would say that the albatrosses will not be that easy to manage either. Maximum distance plus 10. I'm using all the right spin that I can and also a little bit of top spin. Try to get the ball to be at the top right corner of the fairway. Now, second shot, we're going to need to have power and also top spin if that's a possibility for you. I would choose to play with the big dog or uh, a horizon or maybe even a cataclysm if you are lucky to have that one unlocked. Max plus 10. I'm using all the top spin that I can, all the curl that I can, and also all the side spin that I can. So it's max, max, max everywhere. The overpower here was a little bit too little. I was shaking out a little bit because I didn't want to go too far. But in the end, you can see I'm having a very safe wedge here to lock in my eagle. So if I would have just used a little bit more overpower, I would get myself onto the green. And then it would have been a pot instead of a easy wedge. For hole number seven here from front T, we are going to play with the driver that gives us the most power possible combined with a katana ball. And the reason I want to play with a katana ball is due to the fact that I want the right spin, not so much on the drive, but especially when it comes to the second shot. And I'm going to explain why when we are taking a look at the second shot. I just max plus 10. I'm using all the curl that I can to the right, which is only around three quarters of our ball to the right with our extra mile. It bounces on the fairway over the rough and sand nicely and being at the top end of the shadow kind of or like just a little bit outside is absolutely perfect. Second shot now you can see the the reasoning of the three right spin is that I always want to use a three right spin here as per minimum because otherwise it's very easy that if you miss the pin you are going to um, Go, you're going to fall down left and now for those of you that has played this hole before can remember that that was equal and impossible pot but now that's not the case anymore 
And the reason that's not the case anymore is due to the fact that they've remade the green, but it's still going to be a very overpowered pot. And that's a pot that is very difficult to make, even though you can reach for the hole. So all the right spin here helps that even if you miss the hole here with your shot, you could get yourself to stay on the green and avoid having such a, um, such a long pot. Bounces on the fairway up towards the pin. In this case, we're dropping it for a nice eagle here on hole number seven. We're using a long iron. The better ball guideline, the easier this shot is going to be. 15% elevation through club distance. Hole number eight, we would like to have three right spin here so it's either the katana or the kingmaker here for me and you can see here now that i'm using the fairway uh, on the left and it looks like i'm aiming very close to the uh, to the sand line which i also do but as we do have a headwind and we are adjusting into the bunker that's not going to be an issue i'm using three right spin and 1.8 backspin adjustment is one to one which is 2.1 rings for 2.1 miles per hour Adjustment is done, and once we have done that, we're gonna center the ball and try to hit perfect. This has always been a tough part three, in my opinion, and will consider to will continue to be a tough part three also. And even though I do hit a great left, I really do like this approach that we're taking here, going a bit more left, using the slope. We don't have to come in with too much speed and being lucky here to drop this one with a great left. Obviously, a perfect might not would have been in, but I like this little spot there where we can roll the ball down towards the pin without having to go with any curl whatsoever. You can obviously, if you feel it's too risky, move more left and use right curl, or you can use a wood club or a driver if the wind allows that has a lot of backspin and just aim for the green and just take your birdie. Tough part three with all the bunkers, but I do believe that the new whole location, having the pin standing more centered and just... Um, how can I explain? Centered and not as far back as it were before allows us to use the slope on the green in a much better way and can have more hole-in-one success from that. Hole number nine has always been a very tough par five, and that's uh, gonna be the same this time as well. Here, you would strongly benefit from playing with a power five ball. I do suggest that you do spend your free shot on the hard version of the golden shot and get yourself a couple of berserkers. Use the big topper, max overpower always, and all the top spin to get the ball down the fairway. Now I said always, but I'm gonna remove that word and say always if you do have a headwind when you have a crosswind you need just a little bit of overpower in tailwind you never use overpower on this drive because your goal here is to bounce before the bunker over the bunker with as much top spin possible the further up on the fairway you get the better it's going to be for the second shot now i do understand that i play with a big top of level four which is a high level club playing from the front tee but you can play the same shot with a big top of level one if you do not have a big topper choose a different club the club uh, as a driver that gives you the most amount of topspin. Maximum distance plus 10. Second shot, I do play with the big dog here to give myself the power to have my first bounce over the middle rough. However though, if you do want to go a bit more aggressive, you can use a sniper, preferably in level 9+, plus. then you will have a good ball guideline and you can aim for the pin in a much better way. I don't have that ball guideline here now, so my 4 bars of topspin is just a guess on how much topspin to get myself towards the pin. I am coming in right in line, but you can see I need way more top spin to even have a chance of getting this ball to drop. No matter what though, with a new pin location here, or the new hole location, they have moved it more right, which means that we have now more an open shot to attack the pin, which I think is a good way, which means that the second shot is going to be much easier than what it was before. 5% elevation for the second shot and it's most of the time it's going to be from max distance because if you, if you are in medium distance or minimum distance then obviously use that instead of the max numbers. Hole number 9, very tough one to get anything else than an eagle on but now with a new hole location they have opened up for some more albatrosses. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Rookie Division with various wins for the Southern Pines Gold Club nine hole cup here in gold clash game make sure to scan the qr code there on the screen 
or go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy for the tournament guides for the southern pines but also tour play guides and i mean we have something for each and every one thank you once again for watching good luck in the golf clash game